I feel like to them, I'm just a patient file. I'm a manila folder that they closed and they stuck in a drawer. A College Station wife and mother is sharing her story after she says a Houston area hospital misdiagnosed her with cancer. Good evening and thank you for staying up with us. The College Station woman underwent two rounds of chemotherapy before the cancer error was discovered. Donnie Tuggle explains the impact this ordeal has had on the woman and her family. The worst, Lisa Muck was never expecting to hear from her doctor. They said I had clear cell angiosarcoma which is a blood type cancer. The 39 year old wife and mother of two went to the hospital for what she thought were kidney stones, but ended up with a devastating diagnosis. The best research that they could come up with is, you know, I had about 15 months to live. Lisa says it was only after getting her spleen removed and undergoing two rounds of chemo that a nurse practitioner discovered the misdiagnosis during a routine follow up. She just suddenly stopped talking and she got a horrified look on her face. She said she had to get the doctor really quick. She ran out of the room, left me alone for about 15 minutes, and the doctor came back in and told me that I never had cancer. What's even more frustrating for Lisa is knowing that the mistake could have been avoided after additional lab work was done. It was dated a whole month prior. Um, I had received an entire second round of chemotherapy two weeks after they had received the second pathology report. Lisa says so far the doctor nor the hospital has taken accountability for what she and her family have gone through. My children were preparing for my death. I was writing goodbye letters to them for the, the graduations that I wouldn't be at and the babies that I would never see and the weddings that I would never attend. While relieved not to have cancer, she doesn't want anyone else to go through the unnecessary medical procedures and emotional journey that she has. I don't think that I can change the world because frankly, I don't think I'm that special. But maybe I change their policies. Maybe I make them put in checks and balances. I make them hold these doctors accountable and this doesn't happen to someone else. Donnie Tuggle, News 3. Experts say every year, hundreds of thousands of patients in the U.S. are harmed or die because of diagnostic mistakes. Women and minorities are likely up to 30% more likely to be misdiagnosed. We've got a